Hi, it's Cameo, and I wanted to talk today about ways that we can feel happier inside of our everyday life and inside of our marriage. So um, for me, like I have been a stay-at-home mom for most of my kid's life, and my baby is turning 18 in November. And this has been a big transition for me, and so I have experienced a lot of sadness and it comes from a lot of my energy being tied up and being a mom and taking my kids here and there and that is kind of coming to an end um now i am a grandma so that's pretty exciting but i think as women like we put so much energy into our family and when that starts to grow and expand and your kids get married and moved out then it's so beautiful, but it's also one of the hardest transitions that we can go through. Um, so there's a few ways that I think um, you can try to be happier in your everyday life. And a big part of this is like reconnecting with your husband. And you're always connected because like the kids kind of keep you connected, but it's so different when your kids aren't the main focus of your relationship. And so, um, for me, like, I've just really been trying to like the things more that my husband likes. And so we've always loved camping and being outdoors. So that's a great thing that we can connect on. And, um, then my husband loves college football and he loves BYU college football. So, um, now I make sure that I'm committed that if he's home watching the game, if he's not working, that I sit by his side and watch it and I get excited and, and just be part of that experience. And it's been super helpful, like in just feeling more connected to him as a person. And then um, also I feel like as women, we kind of want our man to maybe take, con not so much control, but be the lead when it comes to the bedroom. And I don't have a lot of safety um, when it comes to intimacy, like I've had a lot of different things in my life happen and I don't feel super safe around masculine energy, even my husband when like, I love being intimate. I love being sexual, but I like to be more in control of that just because it helps me feel like I have a sense of safety. So, um, the last thing that I've really been focusing on is just trying to try new things or bring new ideas um, inside of our bedroom. And my husband's very open to trying anything that I'm like, hey, let's do this. Or, um, cause like he just loves to connect intimately. And, but when I'm bringing it or I'm suggesting it, it gives me a sense of safety because I feel like, okay, I have somewhat of control. So these could just be a few ways that you could really bring back that connection in your marriage and really work on your intimate life because sex and marriage is a really important thing. I mean, it's the only person that we share this part of ourselves with if you're in a monogamous relationship. And so it's really beautiful when we can work on releasing energies that maybe are stuck in our body that allow make it so we can't fully experience the pleasure that we want to experience. And part of that is the outside connection too with watching football together or having dinner together or different things where you're emotionally connecting throughout the day. So um, that is all I have to say today and um, I will do a video later.